Hey, what is up? Today I am going to be showing you something extremely useful in Diablo 4, especially after the latest patch 1.0.3. This right here had officially fixed the whole dungeon reset glitch, which absolutely does not work anymore. So now you can use this method instead that I'm about to show you here in just one second. All we want to do is locate an event nearby. I highly suggest that you do something like the Helltides event because this has quite a few enemies that can pop up a bunch of cinder and you can then turn that cinder in to grab a crap ton of legendaries. Not only that, this is great because we are also going to pick up a bunch of obol. The reason why I'm discussing this again is because quite a few players do not know about this still. And not only that, I'm also going to be showing something a little bit different here that you can try out to help reset these events a little bit faster using this method today. Now with that information to the side, we are now going to talk about how to do this properly. You want to activate an event that's something like this, which is called the Wicked. This right here has quite a few waves, as well as there's also the other event where you may need to go around taking out a few towers or whatnot. What's great about this is that you can grab a crap ton of cinder as I just mentioned before. Not only that, there is the potential chance that legendaries will drop here as well. Now this is not where the legendary method is going to come in hand. I will explain that here shortly. We are just going to go around here taking out each enemy until we get down to the last part. Once you have done so, you can then take out the boss. And then once you do take out the boss, Grab all the stuff around you. This can be the cinder, legendaries, rares. Grab whatever you can and kind of sort through it, right? Because if you have some good rares, you can keep that. But what I recommend is that you just scrap most of it if the rolls are just crap. This way you're not wasting too much time trying to figure out what's the best uh, legendary or what's the best rare to keep. Just kind of look through it. See which ones are better. If the legendary rolls are kind of crap, then maybe keep the rares instead. So here we go. We're at the part where we need to take out the boss here. All we're going to do is just finish him off like so. And then you just want to grab the chest. Also, if you want to know what my build is, I will let you guys know over there at the Discord. I'll post it there in the helpful section. So feel free to join the Discord and follow the Twitter. Actually, don't even do that because I think Elon Musk kind of, kind of screwed that Twitter thing up. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, here we are. We're picking up the loot. And now what we're going to do is then exit out of this place by simply clicking T on the keyboard or down on the D-pad. So once you're at the town, you can then do a 180. We are going to go straight through the portal. Once that's been done, you should see that the event has popped up. You can rinse and repeat this as much as you like. The only reason why you would want to do this is mainly for the obol. Of course, you can do this during the Helltides event just to pick up that cinder. It's obviously a choice, but first and foremost, try to grab the cinder and then grab the old bull, of course, so this way you can then cash that in. But other than that, this is how you do this method. You can rinse and repeat this as much as you like, grabbing a crap ton of legendaries, gold, as well as some rare items that you can sort through and possibly even trade if you're not, you know, too excited about it. This is why I prefer this method over a lot of methods in order to grab a bunch of legendaries. Sure, you could go into a nightmare dungeon and essentially just farm that a bunch of times to grab legendaries and unique items. I myself actually prefer this method right here where I can go into a Helltides event, farm a crap ton of these cinders by using this method, then heading over towards mystery chests and grabbing a crap ton of legendaries that way. Of course, there is the obols that we have. We can take those in and trade those, of course, for some extra legendaries. The choices are all up to you on what you want to do. Of course, try to grab as much legendaries as possible. But hey, I hope that this video has been helpful. If it has, let me know by commenting down below or giving the video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the support coming from all of you. It means quite a lot. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, remember to shoot them down below. Thank you to everyone and see you all in the next one.